Hello, my name is Mr. Sanders. Uh, I am a retired business person from the Portland metro area, and I am the new business teacher here at Hood River Valley High School, and we have a business department now. We're very excited about that, and we are offering three very exciting classes next year. The first one is one we've taught uh, now, we're teaching now, and that is career and financial literacy. This is like personal finance, but on steroids. We talk about the basics of how to open a checking account, how to budget, and how to have a great credit score. We also go beyond that to talk about real estate investing, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, drop shipping, uh, investing in the stock market, how to ace an interview. For workload, this class consists of a lot of activities and fun online games. It's not academically rigorous at all, and there's no homework unless you just happen to miss a bunch of classes. It's just a lot of fun, and you learn a ton about personal finance and the basics of investing. The second class we're going to offer next year is called Student Store, and this is exactly what it sounds like in that we're going to run the student store. We're also going to uh, learn how to maximize our marketing investments. We're going to learn some basic accounting skills, some online marketing, product logistics, uh, and I'm super interested in student input for what we want the new merchandise to look like and what products we're going to sell next year. Finally, uh, I'm going to be teaching a dual credit Columbia Gorge Community College class at the high school, and it's going to be called Introduction to Entrepreneurship, which is a fancy way to say how to start a business. So it's going to be worth four college credits. It's going to focus on the mindset necessary to be an entrepreneur or to start a business in the 21st century. It's going to focus on social and environmental responsibility, how to put together a solid business plan, how to initiate uh, an entrepreneurial venture, and give strategies for how to continue to expand a business once uh, you get it going. If you have any questions about our three classes about current financial literacy, uh, student store, or introduction to entrepreneurship, please reach out. I am in room C25 at the high school most of the time, or I can be reached by email at bill.sanders at hoodriver.k12.or.us. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Rebecca Swarson-Truber, and I teach in the Career Pathways program at Hood River Valley High School. And my classes are for people who think they might be interested in pursuing a career working with people, with children, with families, in education, or in social services. I teach a class called Child Development and Psychology that's available to sophomores through seniors. And it explores child development from infancy to adolescence. And that class is also a college credit course through CGCC. I also teach sociology, which is available to sophomores through seniors. And for those that are juniors and seniors, I teach internships. So there are educational internships where you can go into preschools or elementary schools in our district and work with teacher mentors and learn about the careers in education and early childhood ed and develop really fun relationships with the kids you work with. Those classes can be followed up with an advanced internship where you specialize in one area and go into the middle schools or into the elementary school or preschool or even possibly into a really specific educational setting where you can earn high school credit while you're expanding your knowledge about working with kids. Another class I teach is psychology and that class is available to juniors and seniors and it is college credit at CGCC. This is a class that a lot of majors require you to take, including for health sciences and for education or early childhood education. I also have a class for those who are interested in pursuing a career in ed and you think you're pretty sure about that. That's a college credit course called Introduction to Education. And that is actually an Oregon State course that's available for credit through CGCC. There's also an early childhood education intro class that is worth three college credits if you're interested in working with childcare or preschool age children. To find my classes in the course description, look under CTE and Education and Human Services or in the Social Sciences course descriptions. Hi, I'm Mr. Miley and I teach the multimedia classes here at the high school. Uh, the multimedia classes that I teach are a first year multimedia design, uh, a second year video productions class, and a third year advanced multimedia class. In the first year multimedia class, the first trimester, we work with a, a vector-based program called Adobe Illustrator. And we also work a little bit on the iPad with uh, some raster-based draw programs like Adobe Fresco. 
And then in the second trimester, uh, we work with a raster-based program uh, called Adobe Photoshop. And uh, we'll also get into some audio creation and some video production. And then in the second year, in video productions, uh, we, we, it's kind of like going to a film school. Uh, we work with the pre-production, production, and post-production phases and uh, do a lot of editing. And so a lot more video. And then in the advanced multimedia classes, the third year, uh, students can pick their own multimedia projects to work on and develop the skills that they choose. Uh, but those are kind of hand-picked, so you kind of have to show that you can handle that type of uh, environment. Anyway, if you have any more questions about the multimedia classes here at the high school, please contact me at my email, uh, sean.miley at hoodriver.k12.or.us, and hopefully we'll see you in class. Hi, everyone. My name is Mike Glain. I teach our health science career tech ed classes. I'm going to preview some of my classes for you. Everyone offers college credit or a certification related to healthcare. First class, brand new, called Mind Body Connection uh, Alternative Pathways to Health, open to freshmen to senior. You get certified with trauma informed care, and you learn a ton about alternative medicine pathways, which are common in the gorge. We have public safety and first responder, Officer George, the police officer at the high school, teaches that with me. We certify in first aid CPR and teach you all these topics, which are really sweet, related to public safety, paramedic, EMT, et cetera. We've got Future Healthcare Professionals of Oregon called FHPO. It's two college credits from Eastern Oregon University, which is right here. We take a field trip there. We take a field trip to CGCC. We visit the older adult homes to practice some of our skills, and we learn about all these careers and many more. Really sweet. Next, I've got medical terminology. Uh, the poster behind me, you'll see with the words. We learn about every body system. This kid's doing volume checks on the respiratory system. Um, this is the medical assistant program. This class is a prerequisite for that at CGCC. That's good employment locally. Covers every single body system. You'll see some models here. Really cool class, all about the language of medicine. Intro to anatomy and physiology. It's an advanced, deep, deep serious look at uh, these systems that are mentioned here. Don't let the word intro fool you. It's four college credits in a science class. Another prerequisite for that medical assistant program and really valuable. Next, I've got wilderness first aid and survival. We actually go to the mountain. We go up in the hills in the woods and we learn to survive, um, recreate, and do it safely. We also get wilderness first aid and CPR certified so that you can provide help to yourself or others. Really great for people that live in such a beautiful place. Finally, I have workplace experience one and two. This is done uh, in coordination with my HOSA club, sophomore to senior, and you get real relevant healthcare experience, right? This is the most important class in my opinion, really high risk, high reward, and you gotta earn your way to this through my program. Let me know if you have questions. This is Miss Martin. I'm here to talk about the Mind Body Connection course. So it's a one trimester course offered through the Health Science CTE program. And it's open for ninth through 12th graders. There's no prerequisites that you need to have taken. But I do encourage and require that you come to class ready to participate, to be curious, to try new things. During the class, we investigate how the mind and body are connected how our physiology works, how techniques such as breathing and meditation and yoga actually improve relaxation and help relax the body. We also have visitors coming in um, from different healthcare practices throughout the gorge. So we have Chinese medicine practitioners and naturopathic doctors, mental health therapists. We have a wide range of people to come talk to us about their careers and how they see the mind and body being connected and how they address health and wellness. Students um, have told me how good it feels after doing our meditations, that they're more equipped for the rest of the day, that they're more relaxed. So I hope you come and join us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. Hello, I'm Ms. Bullitt, one of the Agricultural Science and Technology teachers. I teach five wonderful classes related to agriculture. I teach principles of agriculture, animal science, horticulture slash floriculture, food science and safety, and veterinary sciences. 
The first class that we would like you to take is our Principles of Agriculture class. You will discover the many areas of agriculture, including animals, ag communications, FFA, as well as shop. In animal science would be the next class. We focus more on livestock, learning about animals' basic needs, nutrition, digestion, and yes, we even get to do some dissecting. Horticulture and floriculture class, you can take any time. We, in that class, we work with plants out in the greenhouse, as well as create beautiful floral arrangements. My next class, which is for our upperclassmen, are food science and safety. This is where we discover what it takes to get the food from the farm to the consumers. And don't worry, we will make some yummy foods along the way. My veterinary class we is also for upperclassmen, where we learn the basics of veterinary sciences. We learn about animal diseases, animal handling, how to prepare and give animal shots, and much more. I'm looking forward to all of you being in my class. Hey there, uh, forecasters. I'm Mr. Becker, and I'm here at HRV in the wood shop. It's an amazing place. I get to teach a bunch of classes here. I teach three classes in the wood shop, uh, beginning woods, advanced woods, and uh, CTE mentorship in woods. I teach plant science out in the greenhouse and working on the land lab. And I teach an environmental science class where we use the, the land lab and space down along Indian Creek. Pretty cool class, lots of hands-on. Everything that we're doing here, very hands-on. And uh, outside, working in the shop, moving around, not so much sitting at a desk all the time. Good stuff. Um, in woods, there's four different levels as you're traveling along. First year woods, the first trimester is hand tools. The second tr trimester is an introduction into all the power tools so that we can get, start getting a little bit more precision. The second year, the first trimester is um, uh, kind of furniture level, doing really nice projects, some pieces that you get to take home, present kind of quality stuff. And the second trimester is construction. So framing a wall, basic wiring, basic plumbing, some roofing, doing concrete forms, things that you could be able to get a job with for sure. Um, the plant science class has college credit. The environmental science cl class has college credit. And the woods class, we are very close, working hard on getting that being a college credit class as well. So lots of options uh, to be able to advance your skill set both uh, job-wise and being ready to get some college credits before you launch off into whatever adventure you pick after high school. If you have any questions, uh, michael.becker at hoodriver.k12, just like your email, send me any questions you got. I would love to see all of you guys in the wood shop. That'd be fun. Thanks. Hi, I'm Mr. Ruff. I teach metals technology, advanced fabrication, and ag mechanics. Uh, in metals technology, uh, the basic level class, we learn uh, basic stick welding. We learn uh, how to do things like, you know, basic metalworking, tap, tap and die, um, and some uh, small, smaller projects. In the advanced fabrication class, uh, it's really sp split. Uh, it kind of depends on what you want to do. It's a very flexible class. If you want to work on your own project, you can. If you want to work on a, a project for our land lab and support our land lab, you can do that. One of the things that we want to bring in is uh, a lot of uh, metal art and start exploring uh, that area and get a lot more, bring in a lot more creativity. And we're building, uh, for example, for the land lab, we're building gates that are, that are decorative uh, with an emphasis on aesthetic. <coughs> And so we'll be doing a lot of that kind of thing in that class. Ag Mechanics is a class where, again, a lot of it is designed around supporting the land lab. Uh, we'll be working on and maintaining the equipment uh, that we use in the land lab. We'll be uh, also, um, it, it is also flexible in that uh, you can work on uh, various projects of your own or uh, work on, even if you prefer to do the welding end of it, uh, we can work that in too and you can get a mix of both if, you know, if that's what you are after. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. You can email me, you can call me, you can stop by at any time. Thank you. My name is Mr. Trimble and I teach engineering and robotics at Hood River Valley High School. We offer courses in robotics, STEM makerspace, advanced engineering, 
drone technology, and a sequence of three computer science courses. STEM Makerspace is an introductory engineering course focused around the maker movement. You'll learn how to make two-dimensional objects using a laser cutter. Then you'll move on to creating three-dimensional objects using Fusion 360. Anything that you can think of, you can create with any one of our 3D printers. You'll also learn about circuits and coding in order to make Arduino electronics projects. You can use this for any number of projects that you can think of. The only limit is your imagination. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Advanced Engineering is a dual credit college level hands-on engineering course that combines lab activities, mathematics, field trips, and scientific inquiry to prepare you to work with automated electronic technologies in a variety of industries. This course culminates in a final engineering project and offers dual credit with Columbia Gorge Community College. Robotics 1, 2, and 3 are a series of student-driven engineering courses where small teams build and program VEX V5 robots for the VEX robotics competition. Robotics 1 is a lab-based course that uses a hands-on approach to introduce the basic concepts of robotics. In Robotics 2, students will follow the engineering design cycle to construct a custom drivetrain as well as lifts, arms, accumulators, launchers, or other components. Robotics 3 is an advanced student-driven engineering course that develops student leadership capacity within the VEX Robotics program. To learn more, go to hrvrobotics.org. Drone technology is a practical course that prepares students for jobs that include the operation of an unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV. This course introduces the fundamentals of in-person UAV flight training, with a focus on the use of quadcopters, to develop the skills necessary to become a certified drone pilot. We'd love to see you here in the Engineering Technology Program of Study at Hood River Valley High School. Hi, I'm Mrs. Foley and I teach computer science at the high school. We offer three classes here. We have Exploring Computer Science, AP Computer Science Principles, and we also offer AP Computer Science A, which is programming in Java. Our first class that we offer is Exploring Computer Science. It's open to everybody. It's a completely introductory course. You, have, you don't need any experience to take it. It's a trimester long class, so it works great in most people's schedule. Um, and we just basically, like it says, explore computer science. We go through um, the introductory of how computers transfer data back and forth. Um, we then go into an introduction in um, HTML and CSS, learning a little bit of web design. Then we learn how the basic structures of programming in Scratch. Um, we would then go into a little bit of robotics. And then sometimes we do some optional hands-on projects at the end of the term. Um, it's a great class for anyone who's interested or thinks they might be interested in computer science. Um, the second year you can take as a sophomore, junior, or senior is AP Computer Science Principles. It's also an introductory class. We study big data. We go into um, how actually how the internet works and all the protocols involved in building the internet. Then we start learning um, how to program in JavaScript. We're making apps um, using all the basic programming structures, just trying to get a good foundation uh, for students who are interested in going on to um, any career really uh, to have a background in programming or computer science. The third class we offer is AP Computer Science A and that is just learning the programming language Java. Um, it's definitely a challenging class but if you're well if you've taken AP Computer Science principles you're well prepared to tackle that class and that is offered to anyone who's taken AP Computer Science principles. If you're interested or you have any questions just come see me in CO8 it's that weird little classroom that's right off the library and also uh, you can email me I'd be happy to answer questions that way too so stop by and see me I hope to see you in our program.